making my videos, one of the things that I felt like I needed to do was highlight some of the interesting towns in the South Texas region that are worth a visit. This part of Texas is often overlooked uh, by the rest of the state when they think about towns to visit. And so, you know, when I've gone on to Google and looked up best towns to visit in Texas, you rarely ever see a town down here in that list. And when I've seen lists of best towns in South Texas, I often see a list of towns in the Texas Hill Country. Well, I just want to say that the Hill Country and South Texas are two very different regions and are distinct from one another. Uh, significantly different culturally. And so, I'm gonna go through a few towns here in South Texas and just, you know, maybe record a little video, take some photos. And these are towns that are significant historically and have some interesting architecture. So I'm here in the small town of Rio Grande City. This town lies just to the west of the South Padre Island area here in the lower Rio Grande Valley of South Texas. This town was established around the year 1846. And back in those days, it was the most upstream viable river boat town in the, along the Rio Grande. And so because of that, you have a lot of beautiful uh, stone buildings. Uh, this town was once one of the most important hubs of trade uh, between Texas and Mexico. And so some of that history uh, still remains here. Several of these buildings have fallen into disrepair, but many of them also retain their historic beauty. So I'm going to walk through town and check out some of these buildings and take some photos and see what we discover. One of the more notable buildings here in Rio Grande City is the Laborde House. It's actually designed by a French riverboat trader and was completed in the year 1899. You know, as a side note, I just want to point out one of the more interesting facts about Rio Grande City. One of the early notable residents of this town was actually Joshua Bean, the brother of the infamous Roy Bean. And so Joshua Bean was actually the first mayor of San Diego, California. That's pretty crazy. I had no idea. You learn something new every day. This is one of a number of abandoned buildings here in Rio Grande City. Some of them, oh, they just, they look so historic. I'm sure they're well over a hundred years old. Uh, it'd be great if we could get some money into this town and kind of bring, bring some of these buildings back to life. I'm here in the town of Roma, Texas. It lies right on the border along the Rio Grande. It's uh, just to the west of Rio Grande City. And so this town lies at the point where the Rio Grande makes a big bend and turns to the north as you go upstream. And so it's really quite stunning when you get to the bluffs over this river and you can see Mexico on the other side, that is Ciudad Miguel Aleman. And so this town is quite beautiful. Uh, it has some nice historic buildings. It was established in the year 
1821 is my understanding and was uh, you know used to be sustained by riverboat traffic until the late 1880s and that's the bridge going into Mexico right there and so we're gonna tour this town which has been called by some as the most Mexican town in Texas. Here's an example of one of the gorgeous old brick buildings you see here in the historic part of Roma. And then right next door, you have that one. Also beautiful. So just up the plaza here, you have this beautiful church tower. I'm gonna check that out here in a minute. This building says 1884 on it, and then another building just down this way says 1898. It's way down there. So you do have a lot of older buildings in this town. For some reason, I just find this scene to be very, very beautiful. Oh, so gorgeous. This is one of the biggest reasons why you should stop in Hebronville. This gorgeous Catholic church reminds me a lot of the Catholic churches that you see in Mexico, that architectural style. And then right next door to the right is the Scotus College building. This building was uh, basically constructed in the 1920s. In the year 1926, a Franciscan seminary in Mexico fled to escape persecution and they ended up here in Texas. And this is where they, I guess, continued their seminary in this building. What a gorgeous building. You don't see many towns with a population of 4,000 with uh, beautiful buildings like this.